Number one, would you rather shave off your eyebrows or your entire head? None of that has any advice needed in it. These are the questions that people want answered. I'd shave off my eyebrows, cause I got bangs now and you can't see these eyebrows anymore. They could be shaved right now for all you know. Wait, Gal did you answer? Mm -mm. Why? Didn't want to. <laughs> what advice would you give your five year old self? I would tell myself, turdy is not a curse word, no matter how much Skylar Moon, yeah, that was her real name, tries to tell you it is. Turdy? Turdy. I used to like, think, when I, I'm after 29, I will turn turdy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here Wait, we go. Wait, you're not answering any of these questions. <laughs> <laughs> the carrot koala become mortal enemies. Who wins? Carrot. Mm, probably. Chew, chew. You like Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> Milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Why did you pick these questions? These are not advice. That's how you didn't give it time. Uh, you chose it right yeah. after you asked it. Yeah. Wait, milk chocolate. <laughs> Here we go. How do you handle moving away to go to college? Ooh, that's, that's a good question. Yeah. If you have a good home life, you have a lot of friends at home, you will feel really homesick, but it's an integral part of life is being able to figure out how to live on your own. Word. And so, like all things that will be good for you in the future, they are difficult in the present. So, it's gonna take you- Like yoga, or working out, or restricting your dietary slash Life means growth or change. The only thing that is the same forever is death. <laughs> okay, <laughs> another great way to look at moving away from home <laughs> to go to college. <laughs> Just saying, you'll be yeah. fine. How do you deal with mean remarks in the comments section? You can read a hundred wonderful comments which are so great, but always that one negative one sticks with you. It just gets right in your insecurity, you know? It's like, yeah. Hannah, you look like a gopher. And I'm like, <gasps> now they know! Yeah, it's like someone stuck their finger right in your forehead wound. And oh. it, yeah, hurt to, ah. Here's a comment on negative comments in general. One time a woman said to me, I hate you, go kill yourself. And I retweeted it going, oh my goodness. Yeah. And she immediately was like, ah, and like revoked everything. A lot of times people say negative comments because they think nobody hears them or nobody's listening. But here's the truth, negative people. People do hear you and see you and are listening. So give them a chance to see you in your best light instead of your worst. That's great. How do you not fall in love with a straight girl? And if you did, how did you fix it? How did you fix that, Grace? <laughs> uh, okay, well, pretend you fell in love with a gay man and you always fell in love with gay men. How right. Do, how do you stop? Pretend every guy you've ever liked has been a gay man. And then I think that that would be something wrong with me. I think that you can't be that oblivious to their sexual preference. I think there's something in you that you're setting your own self up for failure by falling in love with someone that you subconsciously, you are not an idiot. I assume that you are not an idiot. So you must know that somewhere along the line there was the possibility of this girl being straight. And as the wise sage homo of this channel, I'm gonna tell you one thing. Straight people, bad sex. And straight people, we make great friends to the gays. <laughs> Screen grab, <laughs> little thing. <laughs> How can I stop being so nervous slash giggly around people I like? It's good to feel nervous around people you like, cause that's when you really know you like them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing the uh, sign language version of what I'm saying. I'm just trying to participate. You're just dancing it so well. Well, that thing is, it's it's cool to be nervous and giggly. It's uh, it's hard to hide those real feelings. I don't think it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it's okay to feel vulnerable because that's what brings you closer. Yep. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Do's and don'ts when meeting a successful YouTuber at Playlist or VidCon. Don't kiss us in the mouth. Don't hurt us physically. 
Do put on deodorant before you go to VidCon or Playlist. Great, uh, just life advice. Do have a great time at Playlist and get to know Do other people. Do have a great time. Get to know each other. Yeah, you guys so are all really great and interesting and clearly have excellent taste. Uh, Hannah and I met each other at Playlist, really. We met in New York before, but like Playlist was the first time like we really hung out. So do the same, find friends. Make friends. <laughs> Make friends. <laughs> Last question. When does all this trying really hard turn into being really happy? That is a cryptic question. If you know you're trying hard in the right direction, then the effort and the journey should be making you happy. If you're trying hard in the wrong direction, it'll just hurt. Yeah. So maybe really think about what you're trying for. Life is a continuation of mistakes and triumphs at the same time. Like there's no, you're never gonna reach a peak where it's like, all triumph. Oh, I, finally I made it, I'm happy, I'm the happiest person in the whole world. Everything is great and wonderful and I did it. I got here, then what? What do you do for the rest of your life? But to us, it sounds like you're doing pretty great already if you're trying. If trying, you're trying is so important. Trying and failing is succeeding in trying. I saw you tweet that the other day, <laughs> so. I made it up. Excellent, well done. Bye! Bye! Mwah! I didn't know what to do. Who is certainly not comfort me. I don't know how to do that. Have you ever seen a koala make a noise on YouTube?